30 got 6 John here and today what I want to talk about is game meat, lead hunting bullets and is your game meat safe to eat? The question is, is your meat that you harvest with uh, your rifle like this uh, hamburger and this venison hot dogs, are they safe to eat or are they contaminated with lead? Let's talk about it and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Over the last month or so, I've talked to uh, two separate hunters, and they both talked about trying to reduce lead in their game meat. One hunter was trying to find uh, copper alloy, lead-free hunting ammunition. Another hunter was trying to find steel shot for a, a small game, not for waterfowl hunting. They both said that they uh, don't want to eat lead. And I never really heard that before from any hunters. And uh, what I want to talk about is, is your game meat safe to eat if you used lead hunting ammunition? Now some states have banned lead hunting ammunition, like California, I guess some other states are trying to do that. The, the California ban was, was for the condor, uh, not for human health. So let's talk about is your game meat that you use lead hunting bullets safe to eat? In my research, I've seen some articles by some environmental wacko groups like this one here. And they talk about lead and hunted meat, who's telling hunters and their families, creates a lot of doubt and suspicion. Uh, they're lead on it is says lead contamination in hunted meat has the potential to impact the health of millions of people in the US who are connected to the hunting community including low income recipients of venison donations. Uh, of course people have been using lead bullets to hunt game animals for hundreds of years. Uh, it has been really an issue and they're just trying to scare people here in this article. Even in their own article, they quote a study from the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention on blood level of lead in North Dakota hunters confirmed that consuming game harvested with traditional ammunition does not pose a human health risk. I find this article in Outdoor Life is game meat shot with lead safe to eat? They talk about uh, the person who sort of started this was a person named Corn Natzer. Then they found out that he was on the board of directors for the Peregrine Fund, a group that has helped research and fund the return of the California condor, including advocating for the prohibition of lead bullets in condor range. So they believe that he is part of a broad anti-hunting agenda. They're trying to scare people uh, and divide hunters by banning certain types of bullets. Uh, next paragraph, this boils down to an anti-hunting initiative. This is from Jess Brooks at B Barnes Bullets. Of course, one of the big makers of the uh, all copper bullets. It's as simple as that. We're not looking at this as a bullet sales toll at all. We're looking at this as an issue to divide hunters and thin our ranks. <clears throat> a part of this was a, a large meeting, included representatives from Iowa, Missouri, Wisconsin, Michigan, Minnesota, South Dakota, and North Dakota. And uh, they talked about lead and hunting meat and game meat. It says here, while no illnesses have been linked to consumption of fragments from lead ammunition, hunter harvested deer may contain lead particles, was the main uh, conclusion from that. Also, part of this was a statement from the National Shooting Sports Foundation. They issued a release proclaiming that the study confirms that traditional hunting ammunition is not a public health risk. I found this question and answer from the American Hunter from the NRA magazine. Question, does the occasional 
ingestion of a shot pellet present a danger of lead poisoning? Answer. It is very unlikely that lead poisoning would be contracted from eating a piece of lead shot. They go on to why, but then they say here, and would have little opportunity to react in the body before it was eliminated through the intestine. What they're really saying is, whatever your body can't digest, you just crap it out. So any lead fragments, it doesn't, it's not stuck in your body, you just that's what the bathroom was for. I found this article from the uh, NRA Hunters Leadership Forum. Lead in venison is the human health scare for the birds. They go through a lengthy article, but towards the end of it, they talk about this North Dakota study again. Media coverage was extensive. Uh, no participants in the study had levels above the CDC threshold. This sounds like an example of some people trying to make a big deal out of something that was not a health issue at all. Well, some people might be saying, well, just use all copper alloy bullets instead of lead bullets. Why risk it? I agree. It's a personal preference. But every day, everyone makes decisions on what they have to eat and is it good for them or not. As an example, the government in this U.S. Food and Drug Administration book, Food Defect Levels Handbook, shows you what's allowable in common food items. This right here for cornmeal shows that rodent filth, uh, what's allowed is average of one or more rodent excreta, that's mouse or rat crap, fragments per 50 grams. This right here for wheat, rodent filth, you're allowed up to nine milligrams or more of rodent excreta pellets per kilogram. So the government allows a certain amount of things that you would consider bad in your food. What do I do when I get a uh, big game animal like this uh, small meat caribou right here? Well, one thing we do here in Alaska is that we skin and quarter the animals out ourselves. A lot of eastern states, they take the animal with the uh, hide on it to the meat processor. We skin the animals out ourselves. And, of course, any bloodshot meat, any damaged meat, we cut that away. So when I take a, an animal to the meat processor to get processed... It is clean meat. When I get back to back home, I uh, clean off any dirt, any leaves, check to make sure I got all the bloodshot damaged stuff off of it. So my meat does not have very little, if any, lead fragments in it. So when you when I get my meat back, I have no problem worrying about meat with lead in it. Anyhow, that's all that I have. Everyone, thanks for watching. Stay safe and have a nice day.